Today I'd like to talk to you about the next video in our series of the Mac 3 replacement, the conversion of the CNC lathe. Today it's about a stack light. What's a stack light? Some people call it pancake light, alarm light, a warning light. I'll just open it up and show you exactly what it is. This is the LED warning light and it's a bracket and here it is. Some even call it a traffic light. Stop, caution, go. On your machine you'll have one of these sitting up the top and you'll have a machine shop full of machines and they're all working and they're churning away happily. Now when something happens you'll get a warning when everyone's going good, it's green so it's actually the codes to let you know how the machine is operating. So they come again in different voltages which is compatible with my controller. Bit of heat shrink, tube, fits up on there, screws it in. Aluminium. Why did I get it? The machine that CNC lays, only a little one, is going to be stuck in the corner and if you do CNC work, the second or third day it can get a bit boring. People like watching chips fly off. Those same people like sitting in front of a 3D printer and watching it going do 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 do. Those with a bit more intelligence try to use that time to do other things. So you might be, say you make them three or four of them and it's done one so you might be deburring. And you're busy deburring but you don't realise that the machine stopped. So the little light can flash and you can see it in the corner of your eye and then you can go back and reload the machine and hit go again and go back to what you're doing. That's why I got it, just to see how well it is. The controller has got the output for it. This particular one was about 23, 25 bucks. So cheap enough, I thought I'd give it a go. But here's me props. 23, 25 bucks, you think, well, that's not too dear for a couple of LED lights, but it's not that cheap either. So what I'll do is, I'll just shift these props over here for you. There's one ground and three coloured wires, red, green and yellow, and that goes to those lights. So I'll just hook these up, the red's on, booster up to 24 volt. I've got an adjustable power supply here. So that's how bright it is. I'll just let it sit there and I'll touch these other wires and get them working. So there they all are. See how bright they are? Lovely. It's coming out a lot brighter on the video of course. Let's have a look at the reflection on the light. If you look at my work light video you can see the reflection. So that's reflection off the... there. So that's about 50 mil up. So that's the brightness. Now to get them to flash, that's all in the controller. The controller has the terminals and the controller decides whether to send pulses and flashes and all that. So that's all what the light does. This one doesn't have an alarm in it. For a couple of bucks, you can go down to your hobby store, Hobby King, any of those guys, and get yourself some of these mini LED strips. So we'll just plug this one in, let's see. Okay. Let's have a look at the reflection in the on the desk here, on the top you can see how much brighter it is. So this is, like I said, 25 bucks. So you could buy red one of these, green one of these, and a yellow orange one of those, 5 volt, 12 volt, whatever ones you happen to buy. And you could have them doing the same thing for, say, half or a third of the price. So if you watch all the Quad 4A videos, you would have seen one about the automatic landing gear that this detects the ground and opens up and, and when you take off, legs lift up and when you come down it measures the distance and the legs close and all that. And it gives you a indication by colours what it's doing and all that. So I'll just pop this on now. Just watch the pattern. Is it fired up? Here we go. As you can see, these are little LED strips that are programmable. There's a little Adreno in there and these can be any colour you like. If you want them green, they can be green. If you want them reddish green, they're reddish green. If you want them bluish, pink, whatever. The Adreno programs it, programs the codes, programs everything. Underneath the 
main control panel and the with, with the screen and that, and then the other control area. I thought I might put one of these strips in originally and put the Adreno in there and program. So when it reads the 240 volt and it says it's on this, I could program it to be orange, program it to be red, program it to go, go backwards and forwards. So for about 10 bucks, you can do a programmable one like this. Say five bucks, you can do just a strip, couple of strips, or for 25 bucks, you can do this. There's alternatives out there. On the mill, I'm having a large strip and I'll, I'll be reading a lot more of the information. Other methods that you can use to be taken to the next level with CNC 4A. Hope you've enjoyed our little colourful display today. And if you're a subscriber, your questions will be answered. And as always, thanks for watching.